As we reported earlier, that Hindustan Aeronautics is carrying out integration of the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile on a limited series stages aircraft for testing by the end of this year, new reports indicate that Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to begin computer-generated data for integration of advanced short-range air-to-air missile on the Tejas Mark 1, that will also supplement the existing Russian R-73 and the indigenous Astra Mark 1 on the entire Tejas fleet including 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters that will end enter production in 2023. The Tejas Mark 1 is already integrated with the 60 km range Iderby missile, and the Indian Air Force will also take a final call on the 100 km range Iderby extended range variant at a later stage, as the 160 km range Astra Mark 2 will take few years of developmental and user trials before it is cleared for production. Malaysian officials have rejected the false claims made in the Korean news website, that claim that South Korean FA-50 and Chinese JF-17 are the only two finalists left in the Malaysian light combat aircraft program. They also said, that Korean Times has deleted that fake report from its website after being called out by Malaysian officials. They also said, that the evaluation is still an ongoing exercise, and the Malaysian Air Force is yet to evaluate all the proposals. A Malaysian team will be visiting India next month to check out the manufacturing facilities of Hindustan Aeronautics, and the company will also showcase its Stages Mark 1A fighter jet that is currently under development and also its Tier 2 supply chain. An Indian startup company Taurus Robotics had signed a memorandum of understanding with Bharat Earth Movers Limited on the joint development of unmanned ground vehicles, and company officials have said that they are developing an all-terrain high-altitude logistics unmanned ground vehicle for the Indian Army, that can carry a payload of 750 kilograms. Taurus Robotics will also establish a new facility in Chennai, for undertaking further advanced research in unmanned ground vehicles and small-scale production of motors and controllers, and will not import these systems from China and other countries. Eurasian Times has reported, that Russia has conveyed to Pakistan, that unless it improves its ties with India, there is no chance for Pakistan to get a deal on Su-35 fighter jets and the recent Pakistan ceasefire agreement with India could be a move towards a potential deal with Russia for Su-35 fighter jets. The UAE had also adopted a similar strategy to improve relations with Israel, after which United Arab Emirates signed a deal for F-35 fighter jets with the US. During his recent visit to Pakistan, Russian Foreign Minister had also announced that Russia is ready to sell special military equipment to Pakistan. Unstable economic condition and American CATSA sanctions is the biggest hindrance to the proposed deal, and any potential sale of Su-35 to Pakistan will not change the power dynamics in the region, but will surely change the geopolitics in South Asia. The naval variant of the Advanced Light Helicopter will conduct its crucial folding tail boom trial next month, to demonstrate that it can easily fit into hangars and hilly decks of frontline warships. The first naval advanced light helicopter with a modified tail section is also ready, and is expected to conduct its first flight next month. The latest satellite image of Chinese Navy's third aircraft carrier shows that it is significantly larger than the currently operated carriers, and is similar in size to the US Navy's Ford-class supercarriers. It features electromagnetic aircraft launch system, and will operate KJ-600 airborne early warning aircraft and heavy class fighter jets. Noting that there is immense interoperability between the navies of the Quad Group, the Indian Navy chief has said, that the Quad navies can come together in almost a plug-and-play mechanism if a military need arises in the Indo-Pacific region. The statement will surely get a reaction from China, which sees the Quad as a military alliance aimed against China.